Hello, I'm Kelvin Adam, a 10th grader at Lower Marion High School, and today we'll be interviewing, interviewing Ms. Caroline Merrill, who was a member of Lower Marion's graduating class of 1934. So I have to ask you, Ms. Merrill, how was it being a student at Lower Marion High School? Well, I would say it was really very nice, but we didn't go to any of the uh, activities like the junior prom yeah. and uh, things like that, but on the whole, it was okay. Can I ask why didn't you go to the, to, to the prom? Well, at that and during those years, we did not mingle mm -hmm. like they're doing today. Yeah. And uh, that's why the first one that I knew inter, inter uh, with one another was a nephew of mine, Ronald Hayes, and he was now deceased. But he was the first one after their graduating. He had a party at my mom and dad's house. But uh, 34, no, it's only one fellow that I knew. His last name was Draper from Grimmar. And he intermingled with, with the Caucasian. Oh, okay. Well, do you have any lasting memories that you've had? Uh, in the junior high. Yeah, at Lower Marion. Oh, yeah. Uh, one thing, uh, Mr. Snow, Ed Snow was the principal. At lunchtime, you're supposed to be in the lunchroom or outside, not inside the schoolroom. And one day we had to go in, he blew the whistle. You knew what that meant. You stopped. Mm -hmm. You didn't keep on going. <laughs> And you stopped and so we wonder where were we going? Mm -hmm. Well, we had a little uh, accident. We told him and we had to go, so he let us go. But you heard that whistle. Yeah, you go. had better stop. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one of the good memories I've had with Lord Mary. Really? Junior high. <laughs> That's good you remembered your principal. Um, during your era, it was extremely challenging for a determined African American female like you to get an education in a predominantly white school. So what was your motiva motivation? Um, well, since we lived in Ardmore mm -hmm. all my life, uh, that's where we went to Lower Marion. Mm -hmm. There was only, I think, as uh, far as I can remember, a few Catholic children that went to Catholic, but the majority went to Lower Marion. So what was your motivation? Like, what kept you wanting to keep going? Oh, well, i tell you one thing. I wanted to be a nurse. Really? That's what I wanted to be, a nurse. Uh, and my parents just didn't have the money. Mm -hmm. So I kept on, and when I graduated, mm -hmm. I went to an LPN school. Mm -hmm. wow. I was a licensed practical nurse. That's good. Mm -hmm. So what words of motivation would you give to an African-American student today who goes to a predominantly white school? First, first thing, you got to uh, know, how, know how to act, know what you want, and I always believed in, I always put God first in my life. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so that's what you have to do, to motivate yourself, what do you want to do with your life? And that's, yeah. that's my belief. Well, what, what did you like most? Like what subject? Spelling. Really? I was, English. if I may say so, I was very good at spelling <laughs> at that time. But mm -hmm. there's so many new words that, come up. Well, I don't, really don't know how to spell some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Every year it's a new yeah. word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really my arithmetic was the worst. Yeah, me too. I, I'm not good. Yeah, don't give me a math problem. <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't touch it. Worse. Yeah. And my father English. would try to help me. Mm -hmm. And his voice was so boomy. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do anything but cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's it, not easy. No, it mm -hmm. really isn't. So anyway, that's that's what we did in uh, when we were going to school. Mm -hmm. You got your lessons first, mm -hmm. then you could go out and play. Yeah. Well, I have to ask you one more question. Um, during your era, that was one of the most violent periods in American history. And having grown in that during that era, uh, you've witnessed the second election of an African American president. Mm -hmm. So how does that make you feel? Oh, I was elated. Mm -hmm. Really. I just a thing I prayed for a long time. I'd like to see that happen. Fortunately, it did. Mm -hmm. 
Um, what were your recent experiences at the reunion that you attended? I didn't go. To, <clears throat> oh, um, well, I tell you, uh, our reunions mm -hmm. just kept, it looked like every year somebody had passed and just dwindled down. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went twice, my husband and I, we went to the reunions. Okay. Only twice, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Did you meet any old friends? Any yeah, there were a few, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, one, one girl named Eleanor Hughes, she lived on uh, Spring Avenue. Uh, a, a fella named Sam Goldsmith, he lived on the corner of Spring and uh, Ardmore Avenue. Uh, and of course my two, my two Italian friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, you still keep in touch with them? Hmm. You still keep in touch with them? Not at, at that time. Mm -hmm. No, they. I suppose they, they passed away oh, by so then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do know one one did pass. It was Henry Tate. Mm -hmm. But uh, and I'm sure the other one too. So who was Henry Tate? Could you elaborate on who Henry Tate was? <laughs> well, he's a young well, uh, Italian fellow mm -hmm. lived oh, that, on that was... the street behind. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, we were just friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We'd get in trouble mm -hmm. with talking, talking, mm -hmm. talking. Now today I don't like to talk so much. Oh. <laughs> you should talk. You should keep it up. You can't stop a creative mind. A creative mind has to be right. right. I have to ask you um, the rules because you told me about your principal and he was very strict. So the rules, how did they affect an African American female like you? Well, well, we always respected Mr. Snow. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I left a, a senior high, mm -hmm. you're sort of on the same basis. You didn't, you didn't lounge around, mm -hmm. do what you were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But I remember when my son uh, was in the 12th grade, getting ready to graduate, mm -hmm. and they brought up all these, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, study, study periods. Mm -hmm. I said, David, what is this for? <laughs> They used to study period. I said, well, we'll have to see about that. So uh, I took my daughter, we went up to school. Mm -hmm. This will never do, uh -oh. all these study period, mm -hmm. no. So we sat down with the principal and we Dave and talked it out. Mm -hmm. Who would have a, nothing but study period yeah. for school? You might as well stay home. <laughs> but anyway, mm -hmm. not that straight now. Mm -hmm. So he graduated fine. But, and he was also a very good uh, basketball player. Really? And uh, at least I thought so. And uh, the fella that was just a little ahead of Dave, mm -hmm. he had broke his ankle, mm -hmm. and then he couldn't participate in the, in the basketball. Mm -hmm. So Dave got a chance, and then he got a scholarship to Abilene Christian. Oh, wow, that's great. And he yeah. played basketball yeah. there, and then he married. And family, and mm -hmm. he still lives it. So I have to ask you, you were part of the acapella group at Lower Mary yes. High School. Yes. So how was it? It was great. Mm -hmm. I was at a friend. Now she was a soprano singer, mm -hmm. but she was, she didn't want to go out on her own. Mm -hmm. So she turned and sang alto like I did. Mm -hmm. And I would say, why would you do that? You have a nice voice. Mm -hmm. Get over to sopranos. <laughs> But you wouldn't go. Mm -hmm. So anyway, somehow along the line we de departed each other. But, but that later on, in the last six years, mm -hmm. I saw her again. Oh wow, that's good. So yeah, met up and yes. talked a lot. It's great. But she she did you know solo work at school at the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you, were you a member of your, um, of your church choir? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I started out as a little junior choir, mm -hmm. and uh, so stayed there until, oh, oh, I used to sing with the elderly people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was only a young one, I was about 11, 10 or 11, and I sang with them. It was no, you're too young to sing, or you're too old to sing, or whatever. You sang. Mm -hmm. If you knew how to sing. You sang with them. So I have to ask you, um, there's this yearbook from 1934, and I have to ask you, do you remember this woman by any chance? Where, where the is one it? right here. 
Oh, somebody had written, she has built a, a wall of content mm -hmm. around the battery. Yeah, they were talking about and you. had not been penetrated by anyone. <laughs> yeah, they were talking yes. about you. Yes. <laughs> I do remember mm -hmm. that. I thought it was a little odd. Because <laughs> I, I thought I was very friendly mm -hmm. with all people. Mm -hmm. but, but as I say, it only yeah. been penetrated by oh. two or three people. Well, I have one more last question for you. Um, has any teacher left a lasting impression on you? Did any teacher? Yes, uh, junior high, I was uh, a husband and wife. Oh, dear, I forgot what their name was. Uh, he always had said, if you, you have to remember the three states mm -hmm. of the Union. Mm -hmm. If Pennsylvania wore a New Jersey, mm -hmm. what did Delaware? And I've always remembered that. <laughs> I've always remembered. Mm -hmm. uh, Can't think of their names. I know somehow I want to say Buck, but it wasn't Buck. Okay. But anyway, mm -hmm. he's a geography teacher, and I oh, always wow. remember that. Mm -hmm. Well, I like to say thank you so much on behalf of Laura Marion for this interview. It's oh, very right. insightful. Thank you so much. You are quite welcome. So you told me that you didn't go to your prom because you said you didn't mingle. With no, we did. Certain people in '34. Yeah, but did you have any mingling with um, Caucasian people? Did you? Oh, I had. Have a, one yes, I had a few uh, uh, girls and boys. There mm -hmm. was uh, an Italian, two Italian boys, mm -hmm. and uh, I can, I forget the other fellows what he was and me. Mm -hmm. We four always got in trouble for talking, uh -oh. and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they were all from Lower Marion, right in, mm -hmm. in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. In fact, one of the boys lived across the street from where we lived. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, their family, the parents couldn't talk much English. Mm -hmm. But with the, all the children they had, mm -hmm. we all got along oh, fine. Wow. That's, that's good. There's good times then. No fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to ask you, what is Orange and Black Day? Because I would love to know. Oh, that was the day we had uh, outdoor, uh, what did you call them? Outdoor? Like the relays. Uh, mm -hmm. Athletics. Mm -hmm. That was junior high. Hmm? Was junior high? Junior high. Mm -hmm. We had, uh, we had uh, uh, relays, mm -hmm. we had high jump, we had uh, run jump and, no, what was that? Run jump and... Leap, I think it was leap, hop, and jump. Mm -hmm. And I, crazy me, I tried tried that one. Really? It didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> I never could run. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I always would get a catch in my side, so yeah. I wasn't going to run. Mm -hmm. But I did try that hop, jump, and uh -oh. what's the other one I keep forgetting? <laughs> it's three steps to it. Mm -hmm. Run, hop, and jump. That's it. Mm -hmm. So that was the orange and black day. Oh, orange and black. Yeah, we it was had like a day of fun. We had Olympics, and we oh, called them. That's really fun. 